Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interesting life.com. You're joining me on board good old narrowboat Tilly for Dan's Ultimate Boat Basics and today we're going to talk very briefly about what you should do if you run aground in a narrowboat. Now if you do find yourself getting beached or stuck on some mud or whatever you want to describe it as then there's no absolute guarantee cure all of how you can get off or even if you'll be able to get off without the help of a third party to be quite honest and that actually happened recently to one of my friends you may know from I'll leave a link in the description to this video but I spent a day on board a working boat called Mount Batten last summer so link in the description to that and they recently got stuck and had to be rescued only on the very outskirts of a place like Ellesmere which is a real busy sort of hub in the local canal so it can happen and it can happen quite badly now there's a few different ways that you can end up getting grounded whether you just run onto some muddy like silt that's built up either just at the side of the canal in general if the bank's fallen in a bit or whether that's coming through a bridge very often you'll find that as the flow of water goes around it deposits a load of silt on one side or just even on some very long corners it can happen or even on long-term moorings on the actual side of the canal themselves there's so many situations where this can happen and you can run yourself up onto a silty build-up now the key is i think one of the few sort of things that's a good idea in most cases if you run aground is to not just try and force forwards and put the throttle down and force your way up and over it because very often and on most boats it should be the case that the front of the boat is the highest in the water and then as the boat comes down towards the stern the propeller is above something called the skeg which is what holds sort of the bottom of the tiller and the rudder in place and that should the skeg should be the lowest point of the boat in the water obviously at the back of the boat so that means obviously if you run aground on the front and then try and force yourself further and further on you're just beaching yourself more and more whereas if you put into reverse and start to try and reverse off whatever you've come onto because the front of the boat is the highest in the water it should hopefully be easier to slide backwards rather than try and sort of speed boat the front of the boat out of the water and jump over it by really ramming forwards now this video isn't a very short video like these boat basics are meant to be. The other thing that I have learnt and was told and I got a big cheer when I gave this advice to somebody and it immediately worked was if you find yourself run aground on something if you try and rock the boat like physically it might look ridiculous if you physically rock the boat from side to side and this happened to somebody when I was passing through Ellesmere not sure if it was the last time I passed through Ellesmere or the time before that but Basically, they waved me to come through because they were stuck on the side of the bank. They were on a holiday boat, and they, as I went past, as I really, really slow, as many of you know I travel, I was like, oh, are you okay? Do you need, need a hand or anything? And they're like, oh, no, it's just stuck, just stuck. And I was like, oh, well, it might sound stupid, but if you try rocking from side to side, it can literally rock, obviously, the entire boat and maybe just give you a little bit of a moment's freedom from whatever you're grounded on, especially if it's mud, stuff like that, for the reverse end of the engine and the propeller to just have a little bit of moment where the boat's free to again start pulling it back a little bit. And once you get that momentum going, you should be able to get off the mud or whatever you're stuck on. So... Then as I passed it literally took maybe about 30 seconds of them rocking around for suddenly the boat to start coming back out and got a big cheer and a big thank you which I was rather happy about as one of my few useful moments on a boat. Anyway those are just a few thoughts basically if you get grounded don't try and ram the boat up and try and jump it which is effectively what you're trying to do I suppose in a sense. Um, try and reverse give the boat a little rock to see if that helps things and ultimately don't panic is the real thing. There's always going to be somebody who can come and help Help you even if it takes them a while to get to you and again until the next time I'll wrap things up please do check out my other videos for literally hundreds of boat videos on this channel already feel free to check out my short boaty books too if you want to help me out but please do just have a fantastic day keep it boat worthy and of course farewell